Dear students, in this module, I'm going to talk about the types of protein structure visualization techniques that are employed by the online tools. You know that alpha carbons and their X, Y, and Z coordinates are read off from the PDB and are employed in the protein structure visualization. You also know that there are multiple online tools that are available and which you can use to view the protein structure. So what are the different techniques that are used by each of these online tools to construct the protein structure? So this is the focus of this module. The first one is the CPK model or the Corey pollen colton diagrams. So the CPK diagrams are simply that each atom is represented as a solid sphere and then you have these spheres organized in 3D and therefore you have a very big collection of 3D spheres that are positioned as per the location of the alpha carbon in the protein structure. So I'll show you an example here. So this is the CPK diagram here. As you can see, each atom has been plotted as a sphere now, the size of each sphere is actually the van der Waals distance or the size of the atom. There are two ways to draw the CPK diagrams. So, one is the sphere diagram in which everything is plotted as spheres. And the second is the surface diagram in which, as you can see by the black line, so this is actually the backbone of the protein and the alpha carbons that are there in the backbone. The surface diagram essentially draws the outline of the surface of the protein. So differently from the sphere diagram in which each atom is drawn as a sphere, in the surface diagram, the overall protein surface is drawn by looking at the position of the alpha carbons in the backbone. So this is the two visualization techniques which the CPK diagrams they employ. Next, you have the ribbon diagram. So the ribbon diagrams are the simplified representation and are very popular amongst the bioinformaticians. So the ribbons, as is obvious from the name, are simply the secondary structures that are uh, present in the protein structure. So you represent each secondary structure by a ribbon. And these ribbons come together towards the overall protein structure. Here in this example, you can see some ribbon diagrams. For instance, in this, you can see some beta sheets as well as some alpha helices. So these are, of course, the secondary structures that we will study later. And that these ribbons, they are coming together with the help of these loops. So this is the ribbon diagram and as I just mentioned that these are one of the most popular techniques that are employed. Then there is the balls and sticks model as well in which the atoms are plotted as balls and the sticks are the uh, relationships or the bonding between them. These in the BS models the atoms can be colored as per the type of the atom. So it can be very interesting to visualize as well. Let's see in the form of an example. So here you can see carbon most probably here and different atoms surrounding it. So this is the balls and sticks model or the BS model. So this is also pretty common and people visualize several proteins using this, especially when they're interested in the distance between the atoms and the bonds between them. A variation of the BS models is the colored sticks model. In this, simply the balls are removed and the bonds are left there and are joined as shown here by the various colors like that. So obviously the colors, uh, the colored stick model can be constructed similar to the BS model. So in conclusion, the protein structure visualization can be performed in several different ways in which 
we choose to arrange the atoms. So as we just saw in the sphere model in the CPK diagrams, we simply draw the atoms, but in the BS model, we draw the atoms as well as the bonds. And therefore, it depends on your need on how you want to visualize the protein. Also, most of the online tools can provide you with all of these representations for your ease.